Okay, so to determine the class boundaries is that we're going to identify the points that are halfway between the upper and then the lower stated class limits, uh, respectively of adjoining classes. But what do we mean by adjoining classes? So for example, uh, the first class interval that we have is 12 to 15. So we will need the class interval that comes before this, even though that is not part of our frequency distribution table, but we have to consider that so that we may be able to determine the uh, class boundaries. So for the class boundaries, we have the um, lower uh, the lower class boundary, and then we will have the upper class uh, boundary. So the um, the class interval that comes before the first interval that we have, which is 12 to 15, that would be 12 minus 4, that is 8 to uh, 11. Okay, although this is uh, this one is not part of our final frequency distribution table, we just consider this to find the um, lower class boundary and then the upper class boundary of our first class interval. So, what we do is we get the a value that is halfway between the upper class limit of the previous class interval, which is in this case is 11, okay, plus uh, the value, or we add the lower class limit of the next class interval, in this case it is 12. Okay, so we will have eight, uh, 11 plus 12, and we divide it by 2, we will come up with 11.5. So meaning to say here, the lower class boundary of the first class interval, the 12 to 15, is 11.5. Okay, now, so how do we determine the upper class boundary? We're going to consider the second uh, class interval. Let me number this as number one for our first class interval. The second class interval that we have is uh, 16 to uh, 19. Okay, so here, to get the upper class boundary, of the first interval that we have, we are going to get the value halfway between 15 and 16. So in this case, we will compute, we will have um, 15, that is 15 plus 16 and divide it by 2, we will come up with 15.5. Uh, so therefore, the upper class boundary is 15.5. Uh,